Hello stalkers, so in this video I'm going to show you some of the best, most useful PDA mods that you can download from ModDB. Let's start from some animation and sound mods first. PDA animation changes and improves the animation and hand positioning of the PDA. Also adds a new power up sound when you turn the PDA on and off. Apart from that, I also changed the PDA notification sounds to vibrate sounds. And the nice thing about Stalker Normal is that you can grab sounds from many mods and mix and match the sounds however you like. Another mod that is used by many other mod packs is iTodin PDA Taskboard. This mod adds a new section on your PDA that allows you to search and accept jobs from a distance. without the need to go chase NPCs and ask them if they need something done. You have a button on your PDA taskboard section that allows you to search for tasks. The mod searches for NPCs that have tasks and then posts them on your PDA. You might notice a slight stuttering as the game checks and shows all the tasks available in your area. Now another amazing PDA mod, one that I absolutely love, is the interactive PDA mod, which adds a new 2D menu to the PDA with lots of new options. Let's go to the menu so we can understand what each section does. You got Raid, which allows you to recruit stalkers for money in the area you selected. You have buy information which allows you to ask for information about the location of artifacts, mutants and even stalkers. Then you also have some games that actually work and know you can play Doom or Super Mario yet, but I love playing uh, 21. The next menu is probably the most powerful feature of this mod, this is the buy items menu. You can basically ask other stalkers for items or weapons and then you can pay them and they will actually deliver the item to the location you have chosen. Of course it's gonna cost you a bit more money than the shops but sometimes you can get a good bargain. But be careful who you buy from because some stalkers will be actual scammers. I got a full video on the interactive PDA, it will show up at the end of this video, so make sure to check it out. Next we got notes, which is really helpful, you can write down things that you need to do. 
By the way, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I do a lot of stock and anomaly videos and I love testing new bots and show them to the community. And then you press add note and then you can write down as many notes as you like. Next we have the communication section. You can ask when an emission or a psi storm are going to occur. Also, you can ask other stalkers in your faction what is happening around your area, kind of like a sit trap. And then you also have a send SOS signal, which is a quite powerful option to have. This button will send an SOS signal to or friendly stalkers in the area to rally up and help you with whatever situation you are in. Your stalker will automatically write down the situation he is in and then send the SOS. Be careful as this option will reduce your reputation to other stalkers. You also have a lot of extra tasks that you can do from the interactive PDA. Some of them are really fun and can actually give you a huge amount of money. There are also a lot different from the regular task from Stork Anomaly and unlike the PDA task board they can be taken from all around the map. Next we got a mod that is super underrated kind of like me, this is the PDA hacking mod. Yes, you can unlock and decrypt PDAs yourself, there's no need to go to a technician. Now it's not easy and it takes a good amount of practice to do this, but it's a fun way to spend some time, especially if you're stuck somewhere and you can't really move. I like to use this mod especially when I'm playing ZCP or survival mode and it is also useful in warfare mode when you can't find a technician. There are a lot of perks and advantages to unlock the PDAs yourself. You can find the cryptocurrency of the original owner of the PDA and then you can hack it and transfer it to your bank account. Also you can get a better chance to find a lot more hidden stashes with this mod. In order to hack the PDA, you first need to find special pen drives that have the software that allows you to hack these PDAs. There are three of them that you have to find, one more powerful than the next. You can find them in shops or on dead stalkers. If you fail to hack the PDA, it will permanently be logged. This mod has a lot of options in the MCM menu, so make sure to check it out. Hope you stalkers found this video useful, if you have any questions about these mods write down here below in the comments. I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Bye and thank you for watching.